Hey everybody, happy Thanksgiving. Today is Thanksgiving. This will probably go up the day after, hopefully. Um, I have, I did have to stay home this Thanksgiving. It was very important for um, Jason to go home to me anyway. So it's me, the cats, and Buddy. And I'm Joe, just Joe. I do unboxings, makeup, talk about my babies, mental health, all the things. And um, I've been fortunate enough that our new neighbors, I guess they've been there about two months, are amazing. Me and the girl have become really best friends. And um, they invited us over for Thanksgiving. Now I'm the only one left, of course, so I'll be going. But I just want to do a quick eye look. So I kind of look nice, you know, I don't know. But anyway, um, I probably won't talk much about the products. I'll list them down below. Uh, I'm going to talk about a little bit about my fur babies and how my me my mental health medication changing and what they're going through. Um, just because I would love to have your prayers or good health of juju, whatever you believe. So let's jump into it. I've done um, primed my eyes with the Kaleidos primer. I've done everything which will be listed below. <coughs> Tennessee's allergies are crazy right now. So I have the Melt um, Bad Side Zodiac Earth Palette. It says it's for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Um, I haven't had a chance to use this yet. And they came out with four, you know, Earth, the signs. And I didn't really like this sign for Aries. So I didn't get that one. I got the Earth. And um, of course, I got Air because it is purple so greens and purples pretty much which i will let you know i'm gonna show you the palette because it's kind of off it's earth so it's earth tones but the, all the packaging is green but there's really only one green color just to let you know i love these type colors so it's not a big deal to me but um and i think if you looked at it online you can kind of tell the, there's a mustardy color that on my old phone looked a little greener. Um, but anyway, I've just got a simple floral shirt on. And yes, I've got a tank top on. I've got a jacket I'm going to take. But it's pretty warm outside right now. So, again, I'm just going to kind of get into the colors. You, this palette only has eight shades. So, you'll probably know which ones I'm using. But anyway, so... Um, our oldest cat, of course, I guess I need to back up. If you haven't watched, uh, my mental health drugs have changed. I'm actually very fortunate that I'm getting to go back to the drug I prefer, and that helps me the most. The only reason why I came off of it is because it went up to $350 a year. Um, it is not going to be that anymore, thank God. But in the process, you have to come off your old drug and come on to a new drug. Which, when it's for mental health, it's kind of, you know, it your, your brain's in a weird spot, I guess, is how to put it. And so that's where I'm at right now. Our oldest cat, Lucky, I always say he's 16. He's actually 15 and a half. Um, I don't know why I always get that confused, but anyway has been getting sick to the stomach a lot and becoming um, bowel incontinent. He has not been peeing on stuff, but if he gets sick, it's one reason why I won't post this Friday. I didn't want y'all, I didn't want to talk about this stuff and y'all go eat Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> but if he gets sick right now, he can't control his bowels. So, we're going to take him to the vet, of course. Unfortunately, today is Thanksgiving, so it will not be today. Um, Jason will be back tomorrow. If we have to, we'll go to the emergency vet. But I'm kind of feeling it out. I kind of know my cats pretty well, but you do have to be careful with animals. Um, because they can have a, uh, they can have a, a broke leg and... 
still purr. I mean, I don't know how they're so resilient, but they are. So, I'm really watching him. Very, very close. I just, I want to make sure that he gets to the vet in time where he's not hurting, obviously. And he doesn't seem to be. I've put pressure on his tummy. I've put pressure on his kind of inner organs um, and backside just to kind of make sure that it's not painful. And evidently it's not because he just purrs. So he thinks I'm petting him. So right now he's just sick to his stomach, I guess. And it does look like, again, signs of pancreatitis. Um, the ones that follow this know we just had a cat as soon as we pretty much moved in this house four and a half, five months ago, whatever it's been, um, who stopped eating, who is mentally handicapped. Um, he has stopped eating on us before, and it was no nothing. He just, it, he thinks differently than other cats but it got to a point where um, he wasn't eating and then one day blood came out um, of his with his bowels so I, we rushed him in and he ended up with pancreatitis now it's pretty common in cats um, so I don't really I mean the better the food they could eat the more likely it's not that they're gonna get it, but it's still really common no matter what you feed them, you know what I mean? Unless they're on the pancreatitis diet. So, right now, I've got Lucky eating with Kit Kat, his food, hoping that that will help until I get him to the vet. But unfortunately for me, my brain is not working at its best level mentally. Um, that looks really pretty, I think. Kind of going a little smokier than I thought, but hey. Um, I'm going to have to pull something else in, actually, because I don't have a light shade in this palette. Ooh, I didn't really plan this out very well, did I? Okay. Let me look in this. I got this other one, the Air palette. Let's see if it has a light color. It probably don't. I'll show you why I have it. At. Yeah, it does. It's pinky toned, but I don't care. It won't matter. That's what that one looks like. But anyway, so I just struggle bus really right now. You know what I mean? So last night I was up all night with Lucky. Um, even though he's eating Kit Kat's food, he has to adjust to that food. So, um,. We was up all night because he was getting sick. And as soon as one of our cats gets sick, it's like my dog's on high alert and he will eat it, unfortunately. Um, those of you that own dogs know what I'm talking about. But, so, all night the dog's waking us up because Lucky's getting sick. I mean, Buddy can be dead asleep. Like, you would think nothing would wake this dog up. But, when, unfortunately, anytime the cat gets sick, it, he wakes up. Like, I mean, it's so weird. Like, I know that, um, I understand that he goes after that like it's food or something. But, I don't understand how he can be dead asleep and hear that. I don't know. But anyway, well then, earlier today, I was trying to go to the restroom and I heard Lucky get a little sick. And I was like, oh no. And then, so I'm trying to kind of hurry up. And then I hear the bell dinging. The bell, we have bells on our doors. So that when Buddy needs to go outside, we know. And I mean, if he's got to go potty, 
it is bells dinging and barking and that's what he's doing you know so I had to make a decision you know but he may not be able to hold it but I don't want, I don't want I don't want Lucky to be keep getting sick by himself, you know. So, I got Lucky in one spot, which helps me out so that it's not everywhere. And I'm just praying that Buddy can hold it. <laughs> Honestly, I was really just praying Buddy could hold it. But he couldn't. So, he's a, about, I think, 60 pounds. So, again, dog owners and people that have ever had a dog or a friend that has a dog... They don't go just a little bit. Anyways, I got that cleaned up. Got Lucky cleaned up. And this whole day I was thinking, you know, it'll be fine. It'll probably be pretty relaxed. I'll have all the time in the world to get ready to go to my neighbors. And now I'm literally trying to rush through this to get over there. But... I mean, the food's not going to go anywhere from a few minutes late, and it's not like I have to be ready so far in advance. It's, I just got to walk in our yard, pretty much, to their yard. But anyway, so it's not been a great day uh, mentally, and I know a lot of my videos have been kind of sporadic in my uh, I'm rambling, and it's because of the medicine change. Uh, I do kind of apologize for that, but not really. Um, I can't help my mental health, and this medicine change is um, a good idea. I mean, I know that this other medicine is better for me. So, we'll see. You know, I mean, it shouldn't be much longer before I'm back on track. So, I need a little brush. So, um, hopefully, in the next week, I'll be coming to you and being able to talk about how much better my mental health is. Um, even on the medicine, my mental health wouldn't be great when I have sick babies. Um, I think that's understandable. I think anybody that's watching this would understand that. But not having, um, you know, the right amount of dosage in my bloodstream and my mental health stuff and my baby being super sick and older, which if it's something else, then you have to decide if you want them to go under anesthesia. You've got to take their health and anesthesia and see if they can survive anesthesia. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. This is really pretty. I'm actually glad I recorded it because I was at a point where I'm like, I can't record. I don't have time, but, but it, you know, it's fine. But anyway, so that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I am struggling. I have some amazing friends that are really there for me right now. And um, I'm back in therapy. I think I said that in one of the last videos. Um, I didn't come out of therapy because I wanted to. My, um, therapist got her dream job and I was doing so well in the medicine that it's kind of like I convinced myself everything was fine. And then I started a new person, but they didn't take my insurance and we were going to be moving so I was like, I'll find somebody that takes my insurance where we're moving to. And so I kind of got off track with my therapist or therapy. I've met my psychiatrist. I have not met my new therapist yet. I will meet them Tuesday. And I have high hopes because the psychiatrist was amazing. If you don't know the difference, pretty much psychiatrists can... Um, prescribed medicine therapists cannot well in Tennessee I assume it's every state I'm going to try this Tire 28 mascara that everybody's talking about I did get it during the Sephora sale 
I needed some new mascara because I'm trying really, really hard not to use old mascara because not because I mean to use old mascara. I just forget. Forget when I purchased it. Oh, it looks good on the bottom lashes, y'all. Really good. But anyways, guys, I'm okay. But I will be much better once my medication is, you know, back on track. And that's fine. We have to, y'all probably can hear my stomach. I haven't ate all day because I've been worried about the animals. So, I may show out over here at the neighbor's house and eat too much. Who knows? Hopefully, they like to eat a lot. And they're not embarrassed in eating in front of people. But anyways, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, you know, for a long time in my life, I didn't talk about my mental health at all. I just thought it was weird to tell people about. And I grew up where it's just not something you talked about. And I think a lot of people grew up like that. But I do think it needs to become more normal. I'm not saying I want sympathy or pity. I just kind of want people to know where I'm at. So if I'm not getting a hold of people or whatever, that you know, you know, I'm here. I just got things going on. But I think that's it, guys. Cause I need to get over there. And I gotta put Buddy in the crate because he'll lose his mind if he thinks I'm next door without him. But this is the look. I love it. And I love you guys. And happy Thanksgiving. And I hope. And pray that you all are well. Please make good decisions. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.